Hello YouTube and welcome to another Linux tutorial. So today I'm going to show you how you can use very important commands tell and multi-tell. So are you ready? Let's get started. So as you may know the tell commands allow us to view the tell of a file. So let's view for example a log file. So I will use sudo command in order to get root privileges, then my tell command, then the name or the path of the file that I want to see. So here I'm going to open a log file, for example, uh, syslog, which actually a very important log file in our system because it lists all the kernel and OS notifications. So I will hit enter. Then as you can see here, as the name of the command implies, it only displays the last line of the file. And by default, it displays the last 10 lines of the file. If you want, for example, to display just four last lines, all you have to do is to add the option minus N and the number of lines that you want to see for example if i want to see just uh, four lines i'll just type here four and here as you can see it only displays the last four lines of a file but uh, one very important use of the tell commands is to view a file in real time I mean you can see what happens in your file as data are written in real, in real time. So in order to see a file live, all you have to do is to add here the option minus F. F stands for follow. So if you are following this file, you will see the changes as it happens at real time. So here is my uh, syslog file in real time. So here you can see in this command a live view of your file. So if something, something changes or if new event happened, it will be here displayed in this view here. So I'll quit with Ctrl C. You can also view multiple files at the same time and in live view. So let's say that we want to see in a live or real time two files, two look files. So you can do that with the tell command. So I will just leave my syslog and let's say I want to view at the same time a file called for example kernel. So I will tap after the first command minus F once again and the name of my file for example kernel.log.1 varlog.kernel.1 so here you can see a live view of two files so here just in the beginning you can see my syslog file in live view and just underneath it you will see the second file okay so with these options you can view two files at the same time and in real time so I'll quit but there is a very important command that you can download and also allows you to do the same thing. This command is called multi-tell. So first I have to install it with apt-get install. Multi-tell. So the package is going download it.
Okay. So now I can use this command in order to see the same thing. I mean to see two files at real time in live view. So in order to do that, always sudo in order to see system log files. So I will type multitel. Then I have an option here which is called for low all. Low all. Then my first file that I want to see in the real time var lock. This lock. Then space. Then my second file. For example, var lock kernel. Kernel.lock. That one. As you can see here, now I can see my two files in real time. So just above, you can see the first one, which is var syslog, and here, just underneath it, you can see the second file. I will quit. Now I want to see them vertically, so I can do that. But this time I have to add the option minus s and two for two columns. Here you can see the two files, but this time vertically. So on the left, this is log file, and on the right file kern.log okay so I can quit that I can even execute commands and see them at the same time so let's say that I want to see for example a ping so here I have to make an option called minus L then let's ping for example google.com Okay, then minus L, then for example twitter.com, okay, then I hit enter, yes, here I forget to make the command ping, okay. So now as you can see the two pings can be seen at real time. So the ping that twitter.com and google.com. So this is a very interesting command that you can use in order to view live commands in the same time. So as always I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye bye!